What's going on guys? Blake Hawthorne, it's the start of today's video. I'm gonna be sharing something with you that's really special to me, and that's this pond we have going on in my backyard. And so this has been going on for about two weeks now, and we actually started it over a year ago. We were clearing the brush, we were kind of prepping the land, kind of figuring out what we were gonna do. And a year prior to that, we had been talking with different pond builders about where would be the best place on the property to build this. But I have an idea and a vision of building this three acre pond in my backyard that I can do a lot of different things with and just kind of use it to just bring people uh, together and uh, just kind of enjoy each other's fellowship. And so let me show you kind of some of the crazy ideas I have on what I want to do around this pond. All right, so over here on this side is going to be where I do a outdoor kitchen, pavilion area with an outdoor fireplace and a big fishing dock. So my idea is right over here where that big hickory tree is, just kind of take that hickory tree down, maybe use it for some of the you know maybe a beam maybe some uh, walking sticks I don't know quite just yet but kind of take it down open this area up and then to put that right there in that space so I'll have a walking path from my backyard down to it and then we're gonna have a parking lot over here for anybody that wants to come out and enjoy it with a walking path over to it and one thing that you're gonna hear me say a lot today is going to be walking path because we want to create a half mile loop all the way around this pond so that people can come out walk around it just enjoy it with some special features scattered throughout so as we come around the shallow end of the pond guys we get over here to this hillside and I have a lot of big plans for this hillside my my dream and my hope would be is that we're able to create cabins here uh, eventually but what we will be having is if you see those evergreens kind of tucked up in the back of those hardwoods is we're going to do a sheer drop it's going to be six to seven feet deep and we're going to have a 130 foot water wall right here so even if we don't have the cabins we're going to have this beautiful waterfall that's going to create a lot of just ambiance and kind of drown out the highway noise and everything and also we're going to have a really nice feature to look at as we're sitting in this outdoor living area and fishing dock Something else we're going to do is we're drilling a well on the back side of this hill and that well is going to be pouring fresh water into this pond 12 to 20 hours a day and just depending on what our rejuvenation rate is we're going to be pushing fresh water into this pond continuously one so we have nice cool fresh water in the pond but two because we're going to do a really cool feature down here on the spillway all right so in the next few weeks we're going to be getting an excavator and what we're going to do is we're going to start digging all of this out all the way back probably within five to ten feet of that evergreen that cedar tree so that we can create our water wall my hope is is that we have enough water coming out of our uh, well so that we can create a freshwater pond as well maybe about 130 by 40 just nice little swimming hole that will then also spill over into the shallow end of our pond for all those bait fish and those brim to have nice cool water on those hot summer days if you followed us along for very long you've seen us tagging cabins on the ridge that is our dream for this property to end up with three nice a-frame cabins there on the ridge that overlook the waterfall and overlook this pond I'll share with you the inspiration image right here that just has kind of painted this picture and I haven't been able to get it erased from my mind since so one thing about me that you guys know is when I set my mind to something it's all I can focus on until I achieve it so we're gonna keep pushing until one day we make that dream a reality right over in here we're gonna have a nice flat area probably with a little seating area so that we can make our walk path come and connect to this and then go up one part of it go up and around the top of the cabins and the other one to stay right along the waterfront and we'll create some kind of uh, bridge or stepping stone path through our water feature connecting over to the grass flat but if once those cabins are in if you look over across the pond we have left a bunch of dogwoods and redbud trees and we're gonna plant a bunch of acer maples so in the spring we're just gonna be full of pink and white blooms and then in the fall we're gonna have that really nice fall foliage Kind of painted across that hillside so this is the flat that i was talking about kind of creating a nice little private uh sitting space down here by the edge of the water we left a really nice dogwood here i'm thinking about framing it in with a big willow tree over here and then just kind of creating some swings or some kind of seating area that we can you know walk down from the walking path and kind of come over here to this little private space where you can really drink in the deep end of the pond so let's go up here i'll kind of show you where this path's going to connect and we'll go over towards the levee So what we'll do is we'll open up a walking path, kind of meandering through those trees down to that seating area. And then this is gonna be where it comes out by our deer feeder and over to our levee side where I've got some really cool things planned as well.
Throughout the entire construction process of the pond, we've had deer come out of the valley, up on top of the levee, and kind of feed across this side over to the feeder, and then out into the woods. And so I'm hoping once we get this levee all planted, that once the cabins are in, they'll be able to sit out on their back porch, look across the pond, see wildlife, see the deer, just kind of drink it all in, enjoy why I love it so much out here. The plan is for the path to come over here towards where our spillway is going to be. I'll show you where that spillway is and that's going to be where when the water fills up in the pond that it overflows. And we chose over here in this corner because then it can go over, not over the levee, but it can go over, you know, natural ground that hasn't been disturbed. And there's also a creek down below. So what we want to create is use some of our carved concrete and we want to make it look like a uh, just a natural waterfall. I'm also going to plumb a pump up to it so we can feed, you know, uh, water out of it. I'll dig down a little spot in the creek to put that so we'll recirculate the creek water in the waterfall so we're not pumping out of our pond and then as we're pouring water into the pond on the shallow end we'll have it then trickling out down here on the deep end feeding fresh water into the creek. So as our walkway comes around the levee over here I'm probably going to have a road that goes across the levee and so we'll have a walk path right along it. But then we're gonna go down here into these woods and I'll kind of show you the creek real quick. We're gonna excavate into the side of the hill, we're gonna do a little fire pit with some of our signature hammock swings and just kind of create this space. So if somebody's out here walking, they kind of want to take a little break, they can go over there to the fire pit area, enjoy that water feature. And then who knows, maybe someday later on, we'll do something special over here as well. Okay, so what my idea is to come right over in here and just kind of excavate out this 12 by 12 little seating area, nice little gravel area that'll match our walkways. Uh, maybe put a couple steps up here just to make it easy walking down from the pathway put a fire pit in there. I've got this nice uh, concrete carved stump looking one we may put in there uh, just so it's a nice little wood burning feature. And then we're gonna put maybe four to six hammock swings around the edges. And then as our spillway comes in, it's gonna spill, we're gonna create this water feature and it's gonna kind of meander right through here and then we're gonna create a drop down into the creek below. And so I think it's gonna be a really nice tranquil area. Just kind of walk out here, get away from everything, be out in the woods, just kind of disconnect. All right, we're down here on the levee end. As we look out across the pond, look at the natural depth of it. Something that everybody keeps telling me is awesome about the pond is the fact that we're able to do some natural depth of 18 to 20 feet once this is completed. So that's gonna leave us some nice cool water on those hot summer days to let those fish get big and really mature. We're also gonna go into our brush piles. We're gonna cut 15 to 20 of the stumps, cut them down, get them pressure washed, put them out here, sink them for some fish habitat. We're gonna make some artificial fish habitat out of a lot of our extra PVC and stuff that we have left at the shop so it doesn't go to waste. I'm just trying to recycle whatever we can uh, so that we don't throw stuff away. That's a big thing um, around our company and around this project that we want to utilize everything that we can. We're also going to put a big fountain out in the middle and this is going to be an aeration fountain so that we keep fresh water um, out here in the deep end and this is going to have some nice lights on it so that I can enjoy the pond at night. One of the really cool features that I'm excited about is going to be our floating island. So over the years we've accumulated a lot of these black floating dock buoys and we want to connect several of those together to make this floating island that we can then put a rubber mat on put some topsoil on plant some vegetables plant some seeds some grasses things that the waterfowl are gonna you know eat on and then also have a place to be able to escape from any predators so hopefully we'll attract ducks and geese maybe we'll get a few pet ducks uh, who knows but we're also going to take those big concrete blocks and we're gonna anchor four of them throughout the pond. We're gonna put a line leading up to the surface that's going to have a duck decoy on it so that we can find where those anchors are. And that way we can tie the, the island off at different parts in the pond if we wanna move it. So I'm kind of excited about that. Worst case, we like where we put it first, it stays there, and then we just have some duck decoys. All right, so we're back to the shallow end. Uh, it's been a long walk. Do you feel like you walked a half mile? I know I'm starting to sweat. Kevin's feeling it too. And the dozer guys are here to get back to work. We're a couple weeks away from finishing this up. And I'm just really excited. Where I'm standing is going to be where the walkway goes down to the outdoor kitchen living area, the fishing dock. So that's going to be where me and my family spend most of our time is going down there and enjoying that space and taking my kids fishing. And uh, I'm, I'm super excited about that. But guys, this whole feature, this pond in my backyard, my own little lake and oasis is all because of you guys and your support at home. I really do appreciate it. 
If y'all would like to come out here, we're thinking about giving away some fishing trips or if we ever get the cabins done, maybe some time at the cabin, leave it in the comments down below. We're gonna be filming this whole series. This is one of many videos where you can see this whole thing completed. And I can't wait to share with you guys the entire process. But guys, God bless. We're gonna let them get to work and we'll see you on the next one.